All right, good morning, guys. It is Sunday, the last Sunday of February, and surprise to me this morning, we're gonna not have rain today, and the Weather Channel app told me that it's gonna be close to 70 degrees. I wanna go fishing. So today, we're gonna take the old banana boat here out, and we're going to test out that foot control trolling motor pedal that we put in last year, this bad boy right here. Uh, I mounted it up on an, a ramp. Uh, I'll link the video here if you don't remember it, but I mounted it up so that we can take it in and out through our little Hobie port there. But I wanna be able to sit down and control the trolling motor with my foot. That's the plan anyway. So I built that up last year. Hadn't had a chance to test it out with you guys yet. So we're gonna have good weather. Now the river we're going to, it is flooded. It's been raining nonstop for like the last two months here in Alabama. So. The water's gonna be extremely muddy. The water, the water's gonna be moving. I'm sure they've got all the floodgates open. So fishing conditions are gonna suck. I'm still gonna take some rod and reels. We're gonna go fishing, see if we can find them. But the main goal today is I wanna test out this thing and see if this is gonna work for fishing tournaments and stuff and if there's anything I need to change about it. So that is the plan today. Look, I can always tell when spring is almost here because my onions are ready. Look at my yard. <laughs> it's like, my onions are just popping up everywhere. So we know springtime is here when them onions start popping up in the front yard. But I'm gonna rig this boat up. We're gonna throw some rod and reels on it, hook it up to the old truck, head to the river. See you guys there. Ooh. All right, finally. It took longer than I thought to get all my crap together. I gotta make me a checklist. That, that might be a good idea for a, a video to make a, a good kayak fishing checklist that I can make printable and so you don't forget everything. Because I have left here before, got all the way to the river, and then realized I didn't have any fishing rods with me. <laughs> that, that literally happened last, I think last spring. Loaded everything up. I got all the rods together that I wanted, propped them up against the wall in the garage, hooked the trailer up, went in, kissed the wife by, got to the river, put everything in the kayak, didn't even think about it when I was getting in the kayak or loading the kayak up at the water. Got in the kayak, got out on the water, turned around to grab a rod and realized that I didn't bring any fishing rods. So yeah, a checklist would probably be good. I think I got everything today though. I only brought four rods. Like I said, the fishing is probably not gonna be great. I'm still gonna try to find some fish, but it's probably not gonna be that great. I just wanna go out and test out this foot control for the XI3. I got a feeling that it might be a little bit stiff. Uh, if you watch the video where I built it, or I didn't build the pedal, you know, I bought the pedal, but I built the bracket to, to mod I modified it so it would go on that Hobie cassette so we can quick detach it and drop in our garage drive when we need it. But it's the spring that has the give back, you know, whenever you push it and it pulls the pedal back where it's supposed to be when you let your foot up. It's made that it's made for like when you're standing up on a bass boat, like the bow of a bass boat, and you got a lot of weight to put down on it. So I'm gonna be doing it from a seated position and I'm just gonna be using my ankle leverage. And it might be too stiff for me to operate but i mean it should be an easy fix if it is too stiff maybe it's not maybe we'll get there and it'll work great but i got a feeling it might be too stiff and we can just take it apart later maybe change the spring out or weaken the spring a little you know shorten it up some we'll see i think i got everything strapped down good i am going to make a few more modifications to this trailer coming up really soon i don't like the way the those lights that i put on the back those whip lights I don't like the way that they flop around when I'm driving, especially once I get on the highway and I'm running, you know, 70 miles an hour. Those jokers are all over the place, and I kind of don't like that. I'm thinking about taking those off completely and building me some traditional PVC pipe brackets that come up, you know, at the end of the trailer, so that when I am loading up the kayak, it's really nice to have something sticking up when the kayak trailer is underwater so I can see where to pull the kayak up to, you know, it'll help as a guide to guide it up on the, uh, the runners for me. So I think I'm gonna make a video soon. We're gonna add that. And I'm also gonna add a winch system. And I'm thinking about adding an electric, uh, electronical, <laughs> electric winch that uh, 
I can have a key fob to operate and I'll take the rig, you know, if I can find one and swap the line out with some real thin, you know, paracord style line uh, for kayak and you know, you don't need nothing heavy duty. And I can literally have it pulled out to the back of the trailer, hook it up to the kayak, push the kayak into the water, back the trailer into the water when I'm loading, you know, and just hit a button and just pull it, guide it right up where it's supposed to go. So thinking about doing that, if you're interested in that, you know, let me know in the comments. But we are in tow, we got the kayak behind us. I hope the weatherman's right because it's still not warmed up at all. Still, I'm still gonna keep this pullover on for a little while, but I should be at the water in about 30 minutes, which is not gonna be that long for y'all. Matter of fact, here we are. So we made it to the water. I didn't really film any of me loading and unloading. I got to talking with a guy at the ramp like I usually do. And uh, then I forgot my chesty camera after I got on the water, I had to go all the way back to the truck, but we made it. We're out here, we've got the foot pedal installed in the boat. I've actually used it once or twice just to kind of get away from the dock because there was a couple of boats loading in. And I've always got this too. So I've got my hand control right here attached to my seat. And that's how I'm kind of, if I'm running a long distance, you know, if I'm getting in the boat ramp, getting, you know, putting in the boat and I need to get out of everybody's way, I'm just gonna use the hand control and not try to operate it with my feet because I can just set it straight and forget it, or I can do the navigational lock and just aim it the direction that I wanna go and you know it'll kinda of GPS guide out that way. There are a ton of seagulls out here on the water right now. So I didn't think we'd you know see any bait fish or really, I mean, I knew there was shad out here, but we might be able to catch some fish out here if the bass are out here doing like these seagulls are. Look at all these seagulls, or whatever they're called. They're catching fish left and right out here. They're shad popping. I don't know. Maybe the fish are out here feeding on them too. I doubt it. It's, they, they, they should still be deep. The water temperature here right now is 58 degrees. So I doubt they're up any shallower, you know, where these, because this is kind of shallow. It's 26 feet where the shad are, and they're probably, the shad are right at the top of the water and I doubt the fish are up that high. But anyway, we are not here really to fish. We're gonna test this out. I am gonna do some fishing, but we're gonna test out this foot pedal. So let's give it a shot. We're out here. All right, I'm gonna turn off the controller. Now let's try this out. So I've got it mounted in the floor, as you can see, and I can take and roll this wheel up and down to change the speed. I got it set on like four. If I wanna do spot lock, I can hit that with my toe. And as you can see, the trolling motor will spot log us in this position. Like right now, it's going back to where I hit it. And it'll spin around and keep us right where we're supposed to be. Spot lock is the main reason everybody buys this motor and wants this motor. Let's, uh, let's take it off spot lock. Did I take it off? There we go. Now, let's try to use this whole foot pedal out. It's gonna take some getting used to. So if I push my heel forward, it turns it. If I push my heel backwards, it turns it. Now I am noticing that ooh, this is a little too much power. Let me turn it down. Turn it down about three. It works pretty good. Now the main goal for this foot steering pedal in the kayak is really for spring and summertime. So when I'm wanting to fish piers, docks, I'm wanting to kind of cruise around, cast constantly around the piers. I really need to be hands-free. I need to have both hands on the fishing rod while I'm fishing, not one hand over here trying to operate this around the dock. So that's, that's where this foot pedal comes into play. I do think we're gonna have to take it apart and maybe weaken the springs a little bit because turning it back left, I'm really having to bear down with the, I mean, maybe it'll break in. It is brand new, but it's definitely, it's definitely pretty stiff. Look at these seagulls. They're just dive bombing. This is just full of shad. You can see on the screen here, that is all shad. And they're, they're actually kind of deep. There's some patches up high, but most of this is just all shad here. 
I've also got to look into something else that I need to add. So as you can see, these lines, I don't know if you can tell on screen, but I've got some lines that are going straight up and down here. And those are coming from every time that I mash the power. Let me show you, I'll, I'll hit the, no, it's not the power, it's when I turn the trolling motor. You see, there's the line where I just turned it. And what's funny is these bat this battery for the Garmin is not the same one as the battery for the motor guide. The motor guide's on its own uh, Dakota Lithium 100 amp battery. But I think I need to add a ferrule, I think is a ferrite, a ferrite ring, because I think they're getting some interference between each of the lines running through the hole. And I need to address that before we get into any tournament fishing, because I don't want to be sitting in spot lock and just constantly have a bunch of lines up. But it's working pretty good right now, I gotta say. I mean, other than it being kind of stiff on the hill, I am able to kind of, I wish I could get my foot and the trolling motor in the shot. I do have the Insta360 camera. I've got it behind me right now, as you can see. It's right here. So I'm gonna try to get some cool shots with that today. Still not as warm as they said it was gonna be, but I might be able to take off this pullover in a minute. It's not 70 degrees, but me hoofing it up and down that boat ramp to get my camera got me a little warm. So let's get off this main river. Let's get back over here. I got a couple of sloughs that I wanna kind of fish the mouth of. We'll go around and see if we can tag some fish on the Garmin and try to catch a little bit of fish in this video and just kind of practice around with this foot pedal and see if we like it. guys a quick little update on how the day's going so far it's about 2 30 now we've been on the water for a good four or five hours and we're about four miles from the boat ramp where we put in we've been fishing a lot my main goal was to test out this foot pedal like i've been talking about the whole video actually so i've got some bugs we gotta you know we gotta tweak it i've been able to do it though i've been fishing these docks i've been zipping up and down beside them i've been able to flip up under docks and it works out really good we've got to get back in the shop and change the angle of this mount that i did up under it we gotta make it a little bit straight up because i, I really didn't think that it would be a issue being at an angle like it is i thought it was maybe i even thought it was maybe too much of an angle but it's not we've got to go a little bit higher because of the seated position we're in to be able to keep it or it's not we're not having to point our toe really hard to be able to push it forward to make the turn and we're going to take some pressure off these springs too so i'm going to fish my way back to the boat ramp if i catch a fish i'll leave it in here let you guys check it out but i highly doubt i will they're deep. I didn't bring enough tackle to really get out get out here and get after them today. Every boat that I've seen, they are crappie fishing, and I didn't bring any crappie. I talked to one guy, and he said they're just everywhere. He's been live scoping around here, so I can't wait till we add that to the boat. When we do, there will be some crappie fishing videos coming out on this channel. I guarantee that. But anyway, I'm going to fish my way back to the boat ramp, and I'll catch up with you guys. I'm going to end this video in the shop, and we'll kind of go over what we're going to do 
to perfect this in the next video. So I'll see you guys in the shop in just a minute. Man, what a great day out on the water. That was absolutely amazing. That is the very first trip of 2023 for me, and I had a blast. Didn't catch a single fish, but I still had a really good time. I've got everything back in the shop now. I'm wired up all my batteries, got all my Dakota lithiums charging up for the next trip. And I'm gonna go over really quick before I end the video what my thoughts are on how I'm gonna address this foot control situation that I've got going on. So again, what I went with were these tire chalks, you know, these cheap Walmart tire chalks, just because I had it laying here in the shop whenever I had the idea to mount one of these in the, the kayak. And I don't think the angle, so there's the angle at a flat, you know, on when the this is mounted into the kayak, it's sitting like this. And what I'm having to do is really point my toe from a seated position really hard forward to get this trolling motor to turn left, you know, in order to compress this, I'm really having to like use my ballet skills to po point my toe that way just to get this thing to turn. But I think I know how I'm gonna fix this. I just wanna make sure that I keep it in the realm of uh, being removable. I don't wanna do anything permanent to the bottom of this boat because there's some days when I'm not gonna wanna take this motor, I'm not gonna take a foot control with me, I'm just gonna use my Mirage Drive when I'm fishing and I can just leave this at home and it's not gonna be an issue with my boat. So here's what I've come up with. And I've been piddling around with this for you know, all day long in the shop. This is some scrap PVC board that I got from work. I did a little bit of PVC welding on the edges of it and I made myself kind of half a box with a 45 degree angle. And my thought is, is it's gonna give us a bigger pitch. And I know this looks huge on camera, it will get cut down, but my this here's my thought, hear me out. It's gonna give us a higher pitch of an angle straight up. So this is gonna give us more of a 45 degree angle versus whatever this was. This was a lot, a lot lower. I don't wanna go straight up and down, but I did wanna get it so I'm not having to point that toe way out. This is also a lot more stout than that little block that I was using. And if we bolt our foot control straight to this PVC board, then what I can do, take my Hobie cassette out, we'll attach this to the Hobie cassette. So you can see what I've got going on here. And then this is gonna mount to this. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us a really firm and solid mount right in the center of the boat so that I'll be able to operate it kind of like I did, you know, out on the water when y'all just see me just controlling it. It's just, it, this was kind of, I could feel the flimsiness, if you know what I'm saying, up under my feet when I was pushing it. So a lot of it didn't have it to do with me not being able to push my toe forward. It was, the pedal was giving a little more than it should. It wasn't as firm as it needed to be for it to compress. So this is gonna, I think, fix that issue we're having. And I'm also, Probably not gonna do it, but I've also considered maybe making this so I can mount it to the side so I didn't have to pull my right foot to the center of the boat, which is not that big of a deal. And I'll have to I'll have a lot more issues if I wanna go to the side with being able to mount it in and out without it messing up anything in my boat. So we're probably gonna stick with it in the middle. I don't know, we'll figure it out. We'll probably go over this in the next video. I'm gonna work on it this week. I'll do some filming for you guys. Also, we're gonna address my floppy LED light tail whips that we put on the trailer last year. Probably gonna take these off. Like I mentioned earlier, these things at a high speed down the highway, they look really cool, but they just beat the crap out of the kayak. They're flopping all over the place. They're not really designed for a trailer. They're, you know, these things are to look really neat on the, the whips of the back of you guys' razors when you're running through the woods, they look neat. But I might take these off. We're gonna go with some traditional bunks if we do. I'll maybe do all that in one video where we do some modifications to the trailer again and some upgrades to the to the kayak. So we're gonna address this foot pedal and got a couple little things that we're gonna add to the boat. I do wanna run some more wires to the front of the wall right here. So if you noticed in this, this video, I've actually got a front facing camera. I've got my Insta360 behind me and I run a chesty. Well, the front one, I kept having to change the batteries because it died a lot and I just, cause I kind of just left it on and just recorded all day long, but I want to make it all day power and we'll probably add a power port to the here. And if I do, I'll kind of throw that in a video and let you guys see how I kind of run wires in this boat, add power ports and stuff like that. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching today. Thanks. If you're still watching this video, I really appreciate it.
We hit 50,000 subscribers again. Talked about that last week's video. If you didn't see that, go check it out. It's, we're doing awesome things here on the channel. I really am uh, appreciative for all of you guys sticking around, supporting the videos like you are. I've got some merch coming out very soon. We've got a new logo design I'm working on right now with some t-shirts and hats. So if you're interested, let me know in the comments and I'll drop them very soon here on the channel. Give some of you guys first dibs over in the members group. If you're not a member and you want to become a member, hit the join button up on this video. I appreciate it, guys. And I'll catch you next Thursday at two o'clock. Peace.